13. And we are just under the halfway point. Probably the halfway point from 2013 or so. That's uh, Dr. Needed. It's me. So we're here at Armour's Bow Gym. Really wanted to get us some good volume with that. Um, did a lot of different exercises, a lot of different movements. Some different machines that I'm sure some of you may have in your gym, a lot of people probably don't. Uh, we went at a really fast pace today. Uh, I believe we got in six, seven different exercises with under an hour. So that we were moving, especially at this altitude, it's uh, really good on the heart. <laughs> That's something that I think a lot of guys, they forget is that uh, I train up past uh, 5,400 feet. Not everybody has to see them, but uh, anyway, had a good time. Start off doing some pull down, some wide grip. Went in the back room, get some uh, some barbell rolls. Uh, try to switch up, usually from week to week. I've uh, been doing back twice a week, actually. So one week I'll do more underhand, the other one a little bit more overhand. But today I wanted to mix it up. Just to try to give you guys at home an idea of what I do. Then we went over and had some fun with the, the Bronco weights. We went on dumbbell rows. And...
his, uh, or can't remember, Del De Marbres bought all the brand new dumbbells, but he left those 170s there for us. Few that can uh, throw them around, so it was, it was challenging. Um, obviously, being a moderate to low carb diet at the moment, uh, I'm happy with my result. Uh, did some more you know, pull downs, you know, close grip. Really just trying to work on you know, constant tension. Um, a lot of people uh, have very many questions as to why I train the way I train. Usually it's to make sure I get constant tension on the muscle. The more muscle activation, I believe, develops more muscle growth. And uh, so we did that. I went over and did some low cable rows and, and did some more pull downs. So we, I think we pretty much hit all the angles. Um, it's probably 10 more exercises I guess I could have done, but we didn't have enough time. <laughs> but uh, feeling actually pretty good. Very, very excited for the show. Um, you know, I appreciate all you guys watching, especially the last chess video. We had some fun with that, huh? But, uh, you know, that's when you, the fans, you know, you guys responded. You guys showed a lot of love to Flex Online, Flex Magazine. Uh, and that's why we're doing this video for you guys. I, myself, and all the other leader athletes, we're trying to give you guys as much perspective as possible as we get ready for the Mr. Olympia contest. And I, and I figure collectively, you guys will be able to devise up your own training regimen and uh, make it your own and hopefully be in our shoes one day, or even my own, as Mr. Olympia. Um, like I said right now, I'm you know, five and a half weeks out, just a hair under 270. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, so that's actually uh, very, very high, um, but my condition has been pretty good. So I'm happy with that, and my trainer, Holly Rambo, has actually been pleased with it as well, so that always makes a huge difference, but uh, other than everything's been, been great. Um, obviously, shout out to Flex Magazine. I got the new cover of Flex, that's on new stands right now, and very, very excited about it, because anytime when you get to go to a grocery store or a bookstore, see your, you know, your picture on a magazine, especially have something positive on it, it's great. Um, that's everybody goes dreams to be on the cover of a magazine. Um, shout out to them. Uh, shout out to uh, Topps Trading Company. I actually had my own Allen and Ginter Topps uh, trading card that you can get online right now. So be sure to check out Topps and uh, you can get your own autographed Phil Heath uh, Allen and Ginter baseball card. I'm the only bodybuilder ever to do that. So, like I said, when, you know, when I became Mr. Olympia, I was trying to do a lot of different things. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to see all those different things here come pretty soon. Uh, Generation Iron will be out. Yes. Not DVD. It'll be in the theaters. Uh, I talked to the guys over at the Flatter Company early last week, and they're very, very excited. And they have actually made me very, very excited as well because it'll actually be shown in my hometown here in Denver. So Denver and Colorado Springs, well, those two markets, along with tons of different markets all over the country, will be able to watch Generation I on September after September 20th. Um, but in the meantime, you'll be able to possibly see some of the previews. Um, of Generation Iron in theaters as of today. So I'm actually going to be going to the theater probably here pretty soon just to go get a sneak peek of that. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been very, very fortunate to be in this position and it's definitely an honor and privilege. I have a lot of fun. I like goofing off a lot. But this prep has been very, very challenging. But actually very, very Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Phil Heath, the gift here over at Armbrust Pro Gym. Uh, we're about nine and a half weeks from the Mr. Olympia contest, and I just trained back. And man, it was pretty intense. Um, the weight was, you know, weight was moving really good. I thought, and you know, I felt that my intensity was good as well. Um, right now, I'm sitting just under 270 pounds. Uh, probably the leanest I've been in quite some time uh, this far out from a, a contest and I, I definitely want to attribute that to taking a year off and and uh, not doing the Arnold Classic or any other shows and just focusing solely on the Mr. Olympia contest. Uh, uh, just a recap of what's been going on in, in my life. Uh, <clears throat> I 
obviously you guys know that I, I signed with Team Muscle Tech about a year ago. That's been going really well. I've been doing a lot of appearances with them and, and appearances on my own around the world. Uh, I've been pretty much everywhere already this year, just traveling just under 100,000 miles worldwide and promoting the sport. But uh, I acquired uh, two new uh, sponsors that uh, are definitely, you know, helping me out a lot. One is uh, Energy Care USA. They gave me my own signature band. And uh, you can see right there, you can go on energycareusa.com and, and learn more about that, um, how they help me recover from, you know, a lot of different training, you know, workouts that I do. And also Smart Shake. They're actually coming out with my own um, shaker cup. So that's going to be unveiled at the 2011 Mr. Olympia weekend. So be sure to check that out. Um, on to our back training. What I started with was uh, wide grip pull-ups, and I did three sets of that. Um, you, right now, I'm trying to do you know three hard working sets per per exercise, um, three to four normally. But um, for today, since I was doing a lot of exercises, I, I stuck to three, uh, ten repetitions uh, each. Um, so I did th uh, three sets of wide grip, three sets of uh, close grip with palms facing, uh, and then we went over to uh, barbell underhand barbell rows. And that was pretty intense. I, I really enjoyed doing that exercise because I felt that that's what helped me uh, grow a back, actually, in 2008, getting ready for the Ironman and the, the whole 08 season. Uh, I think that that exercise puts a lot of meat on the, the lower lats and uh, br brings out more sweets to that. After that, we did some one-arm dumbbell rows, and that was really cool. Um, got to bang out to some good music, so it definitely helped me train, you know, pretty hard. And right now, I felt that, you know, my form on that has improved a lot better, thanks to my trainer, Holly Rambo, for getting on my butt about it. That's right. <laughs>
we did some seated cable ropes and then follow that up with some behind the neck pull downs. definitely trying to hold as you you'll see in the video I was trying to hold um, the last rep um, for at least uh, two to three seconds uh, what I'm trying to do in that exercise is just make sure that I'm getting full contraction and just holding it as if I was doing a back double bicep It's a pretty good environment here right now, here at Armbrust, and they're all, you know, supporting me and I'm supporting them. So it's been, you know, a real treat to be here right now getting ready for the contest because sometimes when you're training by yourself, like what I mostly do, you just don't have the motivation. So to be around people that bring, bring a lot of intensity and energy to the gym really helps. Um, other than that, I've got some a couple of travels coming up. Um, I'm sure you guys will be able to see that here pretty soon. I got one guest posing left, the Mid USA, and uh, I believe it's August 13th in New Mexico. So be sure to check that. I'm sure someone's going to go viral with that the minute I step on stage. So, um, And then I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with Flex Online, so be sure to check that out. We're going to follow me doing some lifestyle stuff along with other training segments, so stay tuned. I usually like starting back off with some larger chins just to warm up for everything else. Um, I think it's a good way to widen and thicken up the lats a little bit, but also get a good stretch. So then when you get into your rowing movements and stuff, you're already ready to rock.
So make sure that everything is balanced. He's gonna test your will because you just did barbell rows and uh, you're, you're not gonna be as strong, but mentally you can get through it and you can definitely put up some weight. Oh, you ain't kidding Obviously, I go get a lot of chiropractic work done, and, and that's to keep the back in the perfect alignment so then the nerves actually function correctly, so therefore each side can perform at its best. But it's up to me to make sure that I'm actually feeling the contraction. full chest and abdomen hitting the pad. What I've learned to do is have my butt sticking out a little bit further on the pad with me leaning in to the pad with my chest just grazing this part. And what that's allowing me to do is, instead of being up here, going here, now I get to go here and get even a more of a stretch pulling all the way in. Trying to do some lap pullovers, and uh, what we're trying to focus for here is just get a really good contraction, really good stretch. Try to thicken up this rib cage in here and try to expand it a little bit. It's definitely something that I feel that can help your your poses in regards to your ab and thigh. Anytime you put your hands above your head, you're gonna have more thickness, you know, more development, along with your front double bicep. So this is definitely an exercise, along with doing dumbbell pullovers too. I, I think that everyone should incorporate in the back like this. One of the cool things I, I like about training back is the different attachments you can use uh, for, you know, pull downs. Um, I started using this one a couple years ago, getting ready for the 2010 Mr. Olympia. I started using it because it's, you know, really, you know, wide, you know, trying to build more width. And then also as I was contracting down, not only was I getting the width, but I was getting kind of like the middle and the lower middle of the back too. August 27th, 2012. Just a little bit under five weeks out. Weight is still above 260, which I'm very happy about.
Right now I'm doing back twice a week. So this is obviously one version. <coughs> uh, reason being is because I want to keep more volume in there. Mikey, wave to the camera. It's my son. He needs his FaceTime. Got to give him a date. One thing I have been doing different this year, I'm actually carb cycling, so um, I weigh to fluctuate three to five pounds actually throughout the week. The good thing is, is that even on my lower days, I'm still maintaining good fullness compared to even last year when I was at moderate or even high carb. So to me, that's pretty good. That means that I'm going into the contest like I normally do. This ISO pull down, the grip that I'm using is this uh, palms facing grip. What's allowing me to do is focus full lats, but primarily the lower lat. And then also I'm getting a really good stretch. Whereas I know sometimes like <coughs> if I were to go palms out, I could be getting a good contraction, but I feel like my forearms and biceps get involved. So I know some may say, well, okay, well on your hand Steph, pull with your bicep too, but that's why we're really focusing on, you know, using our elbows and, and whatnot. And just focusing with our elbows to do this swinging motion. Because with that, if I focus more on my elbow being pulled down, tricep doesn't get engaged as much. This particular workout is uh, one of three that I do during my prep. Um, the only thing I would include or take out is uh, switch up the T-bar, maybe add in some one-arm dumbbell rows or two-arm dumbbell rows, and if not, do some uh, more rows using the bar. Goosebumps. Damn. You see that? Goosebumps. That means the Olympia is coming. guys will change up different exercises and this and that but I just try to change up the order a little bit in the off season I know right now I'm you know feeling pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to move these for at least six to eight reps and uh, build some momentum going into my contest prep this is what this is all about right now is uh, to pick you know a good four to five different exercises you know three three good working sets especially on back and uh, kill it I 
then actually training back once if not twice a week during this prep. Just depends on how things are looking and uh, obviously how they're progressing or not. As you can see, like I'm still having fun, man. I'm, I'm really excited about this show. I've been having a ball during this prep and, you know, I had some has some ups, has some down days, um, but overall, this has been very positive. Oh, we're gonna get 13, baby. Oh, oh, five, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our back workout. We only got 12, maybe 13 sets. Good heavy weight, but it's the off season, so I'm trying to try out different routines and whatnot. And like I said, this would be one of them. So a little winded right now, <laughs> but uh, probably because I got this belt on too tight. But anyway, when I'm getting ready to uh, go get cleaned up, say goodbye to the family. I'm actually getting ready to fly out to Denmark and Holland for a weekend promoting the sport. You know, I'm smiling because, you know, I was having like a, a good time listening to some of my favorite jams and stuff. And that's what you gotta do, guys. You gotta, you gotta find a way. Like, you know, if you don't like the music they play at your gym, hey man, crank out your own tunes, develop a playlist and rock it out so then you can knock it out and make these, you know, these weights your bitch, you know what I mean? And, and overall, man, just have fun in there, you know? The, no one's putting a gun up to your head, so if you choose to go in this gym, give it your best. Um, don't worry about everybody else. You know, there's a lot of other guys in here that I'm sure are staring at me, wondering what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it. I can't worry about that. I gotta worry about, you know, my technique. You know, just like I did when I first started out in the NPC, all the way to Mr. Olympia and beyond. And just focus on your technique, focus on what you're doing, and, uh, Hope for the best, guys, and you know, like I said, always have fun. You know, that's what this sport is about, is you know, feeling good and uh, looking good, of course. So with that, I'm gonna leave you guys. Until next time, it's the gift. Mr. O, see ya. <laughs>